All right, um, second video about creatine. Uh, the creatine product that's gone mental in terms of popularity the last probably 12 months is creatine gummies. Uh, however, now Labs and James Smith have done some third party testing. I'll link to them in the description below. And they found that, well, the one that James Smith had third party tested was called Overload. And it was basically had no creatine in it or very little. Uh, let me see if it had any at all. It may have had a trace amount, I can't remember, but have a look at the uh, the video I'll link to. And then the Now Foods, they tested 12 different brands. About half of them were all right, and the other half weren't. So Astrolabs, zero creatine, bare balance, actually had more creatine than they said, so bare balance is good. Beast Bites, 8.7 milligrams instead of 1,000. And it had a load of uh, creatinine in it, which isn't which isn't great. Um, Bod, not heard of them, but they had more creatine in than they said they did. Create, I will give them, they had slightly less than they said, but still just uh, just less than 13,000, sorry, 1,300 milligrams, 1,300 milligrams. Uh, so that's pretty good. It's claimed 1,500, but I mean, we'll let them off. Concrete uh, claimed 250 milligrams, but they had 28 milligrams. Uh, oh, this was a good one. Effective Nutra had 1,256 milligrams when they claimed 1,000, so they had more than they said. Griabi had zero. Iron Labs had 1,365 milligrams, so Iron Labs Nutrition. That's really good. Njord had zero. Peach Perfect. 1100 more than they said so that's really good and zoo z h o u or z h o u if you're american 2038 milligrams so they had a load more than they said uh so yeah so the good ones were bear balance bod create effective nutra iron labs nutrition peach perfect and zoo so yeah uh i'll list those in the description as well Bear Balance, Bard, Effective Nutra, Iron Labs, Nutrition, Peach Perfect, and Zoo. Uh, so, yeah. Um, if it doesn't give you a third-party testing, then I probably wouldn't buy it. And I would go for the ones listed there and avoid the ones that have been tested and come back with really poor results. Um, so, yeah, creating gummies. Choose them wisely. Over and out.